Morning, everybody. Grandpa Adler Farms. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Grandpa Adler Farms. I'm teaming up with my uh, best buddy here. Your heaviest best buddy? That's what you were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> my biggest best buddy. And I've had uh, had this uh, mower now for a couple of months, and, and I've been telling you I was going to show it to you, show it to you. So, several of you have been asking, hey, when are we going to do this thing? So I wanted to use it two or three times, make sure I kind of got familiar with it. So then I could kind of give you a fair assessment. Uh, this, I'll start with this. This is my first zero turn mower I have ever had. Everybody said, if you'll get a zero turn, you'll never go back and use the other because it'll save you a lot of time. And so far that is true. I have used them before. I've just never owned one. So with that in mind, next question is why did I get a Hustler instead of all the others out there? Probably number one, my brother owns one. So he came highly recommended. Then I started doing some shopping around. I did the YouTube thing and narrowed it down to a few of them. This is not a video on all the technical and all the differences of, between all the mowers that really didn't weigh into my decision a tremendous amount. Uh, I wanted to know uh, how many acres one would mow and horsepower, what kind of engine, how easy is it to maintain myself? This one fit the bill for me. It is not the most expensive. It is not the least expensive. It is not commercial. It is a higher end residential. And some of the things, that, let me say this. Last year, I was gonna buy one uh, toward the end of the season in July of 2020. So I went to a local dealer and was talking to him about it. And he said, look, they're coming out with brand new 2021s. Why don't you wait till next spring? And so I said, okay. So I went back. He was very knowledgeable. Some of the things that they changed, I'll start out with that. They, this is all one piece now, this frame right here. Apparently it used to be two pieces and it wasn't as sturdy. I don't know, you know, this is what they tell me. You know, it, it's a plus for me. Not really concerned about, you know, obviously they did it for a reason. But that's a selling feature to me. Uh, I also, if you, most mowers, see this hanging down here, this bar? You know, you step on a lot of mowers, and now, now you, you, you can step on that deck, and it doesn't go way down, it's not gonna break. And so that's, that was a plus for me. An extra guard here. This is an 11 gauge welded deck as opposed to a stamped deck, which is much sturdier. They also put this piece here, welded this all the way around for, for extra sturdiness. I like that heavy duty for, for a residential mower. They have this one, and again, a lot of them have it. Extra wide tires, I like that, nice turf tires. It came with everything you see here, it came with. Yes, I didn't order anything extra. It came standard just like this. For me, when I mentioned being able to work on it myself, Air filter just pops out. You can clean that. I had to buy this little extra for here because uh, it comes just like so. And then you can take that off and clean that. You can change the oil easily. Here's the filter. Comes with a drain hose. The filter's right here. Before, my understanding was they were not easy to work on. And that was a really important feature for me. You can change your fuel filter. Uh, so that was that, that's, that's big for me. Uh, this is the uh, 23 horsepower Kawasaki for the 54. They make a 21 horsepower. That's if you go a little, you know, like a 42 inch cut or the 48. Then the next one up, I think they go to a 60 and it's like a 24 horsepower. Again, you know, check that out yourself. They put this guard around here to protect the engine. I like that. On the front, these are a, a stiff suspension. You can get ones that are spring loaded. It was like an extra $381 installed. And the guy said, if you buy it now, you can come back six months later, a year later and get that. He said, it'll just make your ride a little smoother in front. If, if you're on some bumpy terrain, make it a little, mow a little even. And I may do that down the road. Right now, it doesn't seem to be a, a big issue. What I like about that deck being that it's hung with the, these uh, hangers here, as opposed to, you know, I've had a lot of the regular deck, you know, the non-zero turn, and when you step on it, you know, the deck goes all the way to the ground. 
and I don't like that. I just felt like you were always doing something wrong. Now you can step on it. I'm still not comfortable with it. Here later on, I'll show here a little bit. I'll show you how I dismount just to keep from stepping on that, but it's not necessarily that you, you have to do that. You know, it, it, it's just more solid. It just has a really good solid feel to it. They're made, by the way, by Excel Industries. I think they're made in, I think it's in Arkansas. Part of the reason I've got an acre and a half here, another thing you want to consider uh, so that you get something that's going to last, the, the next step down from this was, was a one acre. Okay, they rated by this will mow an acre, this will mow three acres, so forth. One down was one acre max. Well, I'm mowing an acre and a half, so, you know, that's that's not what I wanted. So I went, this is rated to mow three acres. You know, at any one time, I could do anywhere from two to three acres, but it's not going to be overworked. And then, then, and it's a 54 inch, so it's not the biggest, it's not the smallest, but it'll, 54 inch is pretty good swath to cut. If you want to do, you know, and then the, there was the cost. Uh, I said it was not hot, too high, not too low. This was forty. This was forty-four hundred dollars, right at about forty-four hundred bucks. And the next one up, XDX, had a high, a little bigger transmission, uh, had a higher seat back to it, and so forth. But it was about, uh, I believe, seven to nine hundred dollars higher. That, was, that didn't. Uh, I didn't, it's not necessary, and it still would only do the three acres, so I didn't want to spend that extra money to get there. I told you they, they had an option of getting a higher seat back, and they really touted the, oh, this seat's more comfortable, it's got a better suspension, and so forth. Uh, I don't, didn't care about that. I don't spend hours and hours on this. If I mow commercially, maybe, but, you know, this has, a, this is your, this is your seat right here, and uh, it's got the, you know, pretty, I, I feel like the suspension is good for me, no longer than I'm on it. So I was good with the lower back, and I'm I'm six four, so if this back is high enough for me, probably most people it is. So first thing I noticed, I got on here, and I don't I don't mow leaning back like this. I mow forward a little bit because I'm always looking at what's ahead of me. So the higher back didn't didn't mean that that much to me. So in case you didn't know. If you're new here and you just typed in Hustler Mowers and that's how you found this video, I gotta set you up a little bit. I'm Chad from Adler Farms. I got four acres over here of a farm. I keep birds and chickens and turkeys. Goats. And, well, I guess chickens and turkeys are birds. Yeah. Goats, we got a dog. Pigs. Pigs across the street. This is my dad, Grandpa Adler Farms, if you're just finding this video because of Hustler. We have 10 acres over there we lease. We got two steers and a pig. We plan to do more steers anyway but we get so many requests about how we maintain those fields over there. Dad went and got this mower. He wanted to show you guys. That's how you found this video. That quick summary you guys just watched, that's the goal of this video. We don't, we're not gonna show you how to cut the pastures with it. It's a mower. Does Hustler have a YouTube channel? Or at least there's some dealers with some really good video of it. Hustler's using... on Instagram. I follow them on okay. Instagram, so I, they, they might. But when I, before I bought this, I did a lot of YouTube searching mm -hmm. of this particular model. I only found I only found one video where somebody did a, about a six or seven minute review of this one only. Others mm -hmm. were dealers that were like thirty seconds a minute long. And it's gone, or at least and we I, can't I find it. And I tried to YouTube again, look, search again. I can't find it. You it found this gone. because you looked up the Raptor XD. Is the one below this just called a Raptor, not an XD? Uh, they have an X. They have an X. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not sure. The, the next one yeah. up is the XDX. <laughs> is probably the highest end residential. It is uh, the, the XDX. I believe is still residential. Then after that, you get into the commercial. Right. Which don't need a commercial. If you don't need a commercial, I'm not. You know, you're you're paying a lot of money for something you're probably not. You're going to under underuse. We maintain our fields. Here's what we use. It's kind of a walk around, like you went to a dealer but you didn't have to actually go to the dealer and talk to him, so you're welcome. Now I'm gonna put you on the spot. I told him just give me a six or seven minute summary and he did amazing. So now I'm going, cause that's, that's hard to do, it's hard to do, but you've owned it for two and a half months? Yes, two and a half months. And he bought it, it's, it's ours. We didn't, no sponsorship, nothing like that, so we can say whatever we want. Dad is really big on, I wanna get as much as I can for the amount of money, not necessarily the cheapest, it's not a, it's not a, I don't want to spend that much or it's not a, I want to go out and get a $10,000 machine. It's how can I get what works 
for whatever it takes. Like I'll, I'll pay it if I get what I want. So that's where we're at now. That's why he went with the hustler. So just give me like five points or maybe six points of what I like about it. What you like or don't like. Okay. They can be anything you want. This is big. What's the, are they in, are they in any particular order? No. Okay. Ease of operation, smooth. They call it smooth track steering. I found out after the fact. I bring these in and I am used to the old school. I don't know when it changed, but when you turn, you've got a lot of arm action here and it really takes a lot. This, my hands are here and within, a, you can move these a half inch to a three quarter and it's turning. It is turning. It is very smooth track. You, you, it, it is amazing. It's like driving a car and you just kind of barely move them. And so, a lot of them may be that way. I don't know, but I know this Hustler Raptor, when they say smooth track steering, that's exactly what they mean. So it's almost the equivalent, and this is a, a, this analogy may be left field, but it's almost like having power steering and not yes. having power steering. I refer to it as having power steering. I really do. It is not stiff. It is Because it, you don't, amazing. to go forward, you don't have to push yeah. those bars yeah. two feet in front of you. Yeah, it, it, it just yeah, goes. Oh yeah, it's just, it's just very, very easy. There's no big, big swing to it to, to, to a turn. And I, I said a while ago, that I'm, I'm, I'm 6'4", so I've got long legs. So they said, you, you can raise these up. This is on the low, low setting. You can raise these up because if I have my legs up here, see, I'm here. Now, I don't ever have to go that far, but if I did, here's where I'm at. So the smooth track steering, plus the fact I can put my legs right here, I can leave these here just like this. I don't have to have them way up here, and I still get that good steering. I really, really like that. And, I, and as I said a while ago, I lean forward a little bit. I'm looking out in front. I don't... I don't lean way back when I mow. I could, but that's uh, this that that is a big factor. You think anybody shorter would ever have an issue, or oh. because it's fully adjustable? No. Oh no, no. I mean, if, if my legs were down here, it'd be the same. It'd be the same principle. I'm not sure why. I don't know why you'd ever want to come up here uh, to to do that. The armrests here, I do. I like the armrests right here. They're not. They're just perfect. Perfect for me. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you something else that I liked about it. Um, I've never had a mower that I could go down in the pasture where we have the steer and the pigs and the grass is two and a half, three feet tall, fescue, gnarly stuff, and take my time and it cuts through it. There's no engine slow down, nothing. And it just, it just goes right. It just goes right through it. So I'm very impressed with that because I won't be mowing that out here in my, in my yard. So. I'm thinking already this thing's gonna last a very long time. One thing before you get up. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get up. I know what your point is. I, like so. I know what I know what the number one dislike will be. When I get up, you know, and I'm not real heavy. And I think that's anybody. I, yeah, I'm not a real yeah, I'm not a real heavy person. I'm not gonna have to lean into this. But to me, there's something if I did this time and time again, these it's not a, a hate, it's just a how long will these hold up if I had to get up like this every time? every time so i do not i don't dismount like that i because my legs are longer i'll I, i'll i'll flip them up and i don't even like to step on the deck i know you can but i don't hand here all the way down and i'm off because for some reason i just i, I don't know how long those are going to last you know what that reminds me of is like the skid steer we had right but the exactly. thing with the skid steer was right. it actually had metal in it this is just it's I just know. plastic it, I'm not calling them out, but right. I get what you're saying. Yeah, and that's something, you know, you don't think about that until you buy the mower and you get it home. It's not a reason. I would not not buy this mower because of those handles. Uh, so it's one of those things that know. some guys, like like yourself, you know, everything, like we got a lot of toys. If you guys are new here, we got we got four-wheelers and a little Kubota over there. We like our, type, we like our, we like our stuff. He, he maintains it. He wants it. He wants it to last. So if he knows getting up out of that chair that way, you know, I, I hate to take a mower. I hate to take a $5,000 mower and pick on an armrest. Yeah, but I do believe if you I, watch a review, those are the things you want to know. I, I, I agree. Another thing too, they do have an hour meter on here, uh, which I like that. You know, that way if you ever had to resell it or you ever bought one, you have an hour meter too. So I got 4.8 hours on here. Uh, I like how it starts and, and so forth. I, I wish they would have put a gasoline uh, meter, uh, you know, the so only way. So there's no fuel gauge? There's no fuel gauge, thank you. There is no fuel gauge. Now, see there, mm -hmm. you know, you lift it up, look at your fuel. 
You know, I mean, I can tell it's right here. Mm -hmm. So, but there's no because uh, I have a little no fuel gauge. I have a little green machine. You guys know what's green and yellow? No fuel gauge on it, but my fill spot is right here and it's not a tube i can literally see inside the tank so i know how much fuel there is but yeah you've kind of got to like if you open that up and you look down in there you don't see fuel you don't really know where you're at yeah based on time and after a while i'll kind of know how much fuel it uses i'll have to check it every time but you know and a lot of you know some people say well you can put those little fuel gauges on there but you know half the time a year or two down the road right. they don't work anyway so mm -hmm. that Again, a reason not to buy the mower? Absolutely not. I told you to pick on it, so. Yeah, because I, I bought it even 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 going into that. Here's another thing, too, that you kind of got to know. It's got a great leveling system. It's got one, two, three, four, five, like 15 different levels to mow. And you push on this, and it's it's pretty heavy. You got to put a little, you got to put a little leg into that, you know, to, to make that come up and down. I like this lever here. Because if I want to, you know, you're going down, and like with any mower, it's got a thing to push, and it, it immediately lifts it, the, the deck up as high as you can if you have a, a rock or a hill you normally hit. Push on that, and that automatically falls back on almost, you know, a little bit the highest setting you can have. Get a little more out if you push like that. But it's got a pretty good little, at first it kind of surprised me how heavy that was, but hey, you're lifting the whole deck. I get it. No, no big deal once you get used to it. Three blades. Three blades. Three blades. Three blades, uh, of course, I haven't been under there at all. And another thing I, I, I know we were talking about some, maybe some dislikes or things that you would change or they would change. Like that this, when you clean it out, first of all, I blow it out. It, it blows out very easily, uh, but you can lift this. You have to take that bolt out. A lot of people take that bolt out and they just leave it out. But this whole thing, whole thing comes out and then you can see your belts and your pulleys and you clean it out real easy. I really like that. So not, hang on, not just the black thing, guys. No, the whole, this the is whole, a metal panel. A, this whole plate. That comes up. The whole plate comes out of here and just lifts right out. Oh. So my green machine, if the belt went out, would you rather change the belt on it or this? <laughs> I know what the answer to that is. You know, it's it like, took me to change those belts in that green machine. <laughs> There was a guy on YouTube that had like half a million followers, and he said it was the worst thing he'd ever done. Hustler did it right. If in the wind you ever have to change the belt, you're not you're not sweating it. Yeah. I tell you something else. It's a like. First of all, the, the, you can feel the power when you're when you're mowing, but this machine will go seven and a half miles an hour. I don't know who in the world's mowing at seven and a half miles an hour. <laughs> then, yeah, well, if you do, you're leaving a trail. I don't know how you do it. Now, I've seen commercial mowers. You, you see these guys mowing these commercial businesses, and they are just flying. And I'm sure they sharpen their blades or put a new set of blades on, on every day. Seven and a half miles an hour, I'm never going to do that. The next one up goes eight miles an hour. But for residential, you know, I'm probably creeping along at about three three miles an hour, maybe max. And... The, the, you can just feel the, the power in this machine. And like any mower, you should wear ear protection. Should this one, you have to, it is loud. Of course, it's a lawnmower, it's loud. Look, I've never been on a mower where I had to wear ear protection. This one, I have to. Change in the future, I will probably get those suspension. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I'd get them just to have them. You can add, you can put, they've got, the, you can put the lights on here. You can get these special kind of light. They make all kinds of accessories for In case them. you want to mow in the dark. Yeah, but I bought this, yeah, in case you want to mow in the dark, which I don't. But I bought this straight out of the box, and it is so maneuverable. Now, this could be typical of all zero turns now, but I really do like the fact that I can pull up to something in my, I mean, I can, I, I'll tell you how smooth this is. Here's what impresses me. Chad has his steer and the uh, pig over here, Wilma surrounded by electric fence. I can get on that rough terrain within a half inch of that electric fence and just watch it and go all the way down and this mower does not. I think that that's where your wide tires mm -hmm. come in handy and I'll go right on down and never touch that. So what he's fence. talking about is my electric fence, he'll just hug it with this side of his deck. Right, I don't have to get a foot away from it and then trim up to it, I'm, I am right on it. If you guys wanna see anything else, Comment down below. Dad is really meticulous about commenting back. If you have any questions or you want a picture or something or whatever, you know, his information is down below, email. This is what we're using to maintain our pastures and just pretty much anything. Cause I've noticed with this, you don't even have to really worry about wet grass. Right. I mean, a flood, a torrential downpour, muddy water, 
muddy terrain, that's one thing. But the dew in the morning, this don't even, it's not even scared of it. So do your own research. And we're not trying to sell you a hustler. We're trying to sell you the thought process of do your own research. Right. Like what you like. You're right. gonna ain't, ain't nobody building you a perfect mower right. unless you build it yourself. Yeah. And you're not gonna do that. You listen, you want to make sure that things easier. If you're a work on do-it-yourself type person, you want to make sure that you can get back here to this oil change, air filter, and fuel filter. You want to do that. You want to make sure you can change your own own belts. You save yourself a lot of money. So I don't care what color of zero turn mower or even if you get a zero turn mower. Uh You'll pay a little more for zero turn mower. Everybody knows that if you buy mowers. When I YouTube a video on a how to, and I see these guys who mow commercially and they talk about mowers, you know, it's a little above my head. It's not real to me. I want to see somebody go, yeah, I've had this and here's what I've noticed, just the little things. Because when I go sit on this mower, that's what I'm looking for. I don't know what's going to happen when I get home and drive it three or four hours. And then I go, wow, I wish I'd have known that. I wish I'd known that. So right now, that is all I can tell you. You do the old Ben Franklin positive negative what did I do? Two, two negatives. And those aren't even reasons not to buy the mower. I got a whole list of things that I really like, you know, maybe I'll need to do another review two years from now on this thing. For sure. like Batman when you're driving that thing? It's like Batman. It is. It's like a Batmobile of I mowers, it. man. I know. I like the uh, yellow and the... Uh, mm -hmm. Is that yellow? I guess uh, it's yellow. Sure. Bumblebee. There. Bumblebee. Oh, I like that Bumblebee. What case call it? He said Batman. He said the Batmobile of mowers, but it's because of the tires. Yes. I like it. So. The 20-inch tires. So here's the deal, guys. Mom and Dad have been here in this house, if you're, if you're new here, a year and a half. A year and a half. Mm -hmm. So the yard is still a work in progress. Don't, don't worry. You know, I... If you guys are big yard guys, you guys are like, yeah. If you guys are big yard guys, you're like, I can't believe you bought a five thousand dollar mower to mow that. Oh, and by the way, somebody is going to make fun of my 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 uh, turns over here, saying, "Hey, you got to have that tire spinning." Okay, I'm still working on it. You're still I, learning. I, just, still learning. I, I won't come and mow your yard, okay? Because I tear it up. <laughs> I'll tear my own. They up. probably appreciate that. Yeah. The yard's still a work in progress, uh, but that's you know you see the yeah, the, the water running, and, and last week we had. Oh. 10 inches of rain in three days. <laughs> had four inches of rain in a two hour period, like three or four times. Washed all my dirt and seed down. Yeah, the you can see he's got, he got the dirt piles, the, yeah. all this stuff. Hi grandma. Yeah. It was all filled in and then it water took yeah. it all down. I gotta. So disregard that when you, this is not a, this is not a look at my yard. We'll do that here in about a year. Yeah, totally okay. Right. But we just wanted to show you, we didn't want to not turn the mower on in a mower video. With that said, I'm Chad. This is Ralph, Grandpa of Adler Farms. We both got channels, links in description, all that stuff down below. You found Grandpa's channel, subscribe. Usually it's about farming, but every now and then, Grandpa loves to throw a new toy in there. Yep. So that's what this yep. is. I got a couple more coming. Get ready. He does. Yeah. Yep. He's done a tractor. He's done a, you call it a torch, a flamethrower. Flamethrower. Done a flamethrower. Flame so, and got a gorilla cart. Gorilla cart. Yes. So, anyway, with that said, what do you guys say on your channel? I have no idea. Grandma. Hey, Grandma. What? 
How do we sign off? Until next time. See you later. Until next time. Bye. See you guys.